welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber and I'm the owner and creator behind Being on Bliss. Today I just wanted to give you guys a short little video on the 12 needle SWF. Um, I got my second machine in yesterday and I went ahead and set it all up, but I wanted to go through the main parts of setting it up because I have had a lot of questions about the process of the setup. So yesterday my husband and I got this set up in about 45 minutes total. We took a break, we set up the stand, and then we took a break and set up the machine. But all in all, it only took about 45 minutes to set the whole thing up. Um, there are a bit of um, things that I just wanted to kind of explain to you guys if you are getting this machine so that you don't run into the issues that some of the people are. Um, and yeah, I just want, kind of wanted to go walk through um, step by step on how we did that and how it got together so fast. It is pretty simple, but there are some things that um, you may need to know before you start the process. So we're going to jump right in. And these are my two lovely SWF 12 needle machines. I love both of them. I'm so excited to have a second one um, to help grow my small business and make my production even faster. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you exactly what I did. Okay, so here are the two machines side by side. They are exactly the same machine, both 12 needles, SWF machines. Um, this one is already set up, threaded, ready to go. I've been using this one for quite some time. So this one I've already gotten set up. I just need to thread it. That's the last step. I haven't gotten to that yet. So I was going to show you guys how to do that. It's not very difficult. It does look like a beast of a machine, but I promise you it is as simple as all the other ones. So I've already gotten some thread on top of the thread rack that I want to put on this machine, but I still need to get some other ones that I want to thread. So I'm going to go through step by step the process of what we did to get this machine together, starting with the stand. Okay, so this stand comes with four parts. There's the two legs on each side, and then this bottom bar and this back bar. So it comes like that. Everything else is already attached to it, at least that's how mine came. Um, so you have four, one, two, three, and four of these silver feet, I guess, that you can adjust. Um, lefty loosey, righty tighty, that's how I did it. Um, they stick to the ground. Um, it does come with rubber feet to also put on them, but I just left it as is because my ground is not super even, so I was able to just adjust it as much as I could. Um, and then these wheels come on the machine, which is really nice if you want to move it around. All you have to do is loosen those feet that I was just talking about and then you can roll it around wherever you want. So the first thing that we did was put this bottom bar across the bottom. We laid it down on its side flat because again this is the first thing we put together. There was no machine on it. So we laid it down flat on its side, screwed in underneath there's screws so you can use a screwdriver or we used a drill. It was just much easier for us to use a drill if you have one and we screwed it in as tight as we could. Then the next step was standing it upright and putting on this back bar. And the back bar again, if you can see, there are two screws on each side. So we literally just screwed it in same way, as tight as we could, and then we had the back put on. So now you have your stand all put together. Um, we did have some, a couple of difficult screws with the threading, so you just have to keep trying. Um, we took it out and then we did it again, so a couple tries and then it went right through. Um, sometimes the threads just don't catch right, so you just have to give it another shot. And then it all works out. So once we did that, our stand was put together. All we needed to do was put on the tabletop. So in order to put on the tabletop, we just laid it right on top of the stand and then we measured where we wanted it to be, um, even with each side. So we, there are no pre-cut holes in the tabletop, at least mine did not co come with that. So what we did was just took a pencil and marked where we wanted the screws to be and then we used a drill bit to slightly open up the hole on the back, underside of the table. And then we used our screwdriver to start the process and then we ended it with a drill. 
So again, you just have to do what works best for you in order to get these screwed in and use what you have. Um, but then after that, your table and stand is complete. And then the next thing is I wanted to point out the table does have four indented circles where these feet on the machine will go in. There will be four of them, one, two, three, and then four. I can't really see from this angle, but this machine has four feet. And then you just have to grab, the machine's heavy, so make sure you have somebody that can take the heaviness of the machine and transport it onto the top of the table. My husband and I did it ourselves. Um, it was heavy for me, but I made it work. And we just set it inside of those circles on top of the table. And it does come put together mostly. The whole machine is all in one piece. The only thing you have to put together is the thread rack. The whole entire rack comes in different pieces. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five different pieces for the thread rack. And then the monitor doesn't come attached. You have to put that together yourself. So it's this piece and this piece comes separate. There's two different pieces and you have to put them together. And then you have to attach it to the machine itself. So that would be the next part. And what we did, word of advice, because I've put two of these together, you want to put the thread stand together first. And that's what we did over at my other table. We put the thread stand together. There is a little rubber mat on here. You wanna take that completely off. And once you take that off, you'll see holes underneath of here that match up with the holes on top of the machine. Um, but the first thing that you want to do is put this together before putting it on here. I'm going to say that again. Put your thread stand together before you put it on your machine. So what you're going to do is grab the base of the thread rack. You're going to put this big piece on and the, there is a larger end and a smaller end. You can't really see from this angle. But this smaller end goes on the base of the machine, or I'm sorry, the thread rack. You put two screws and you screw it from underneath the thread rack, not from the top. You go underneath. So you're going to, that's why you want to put it together first. So you're going to put this on first and then you're going to attach the two sides. You can do it the opposite way. It doesn't matter as long as the thread rack is put together before you put it on the machine. And again, the screws are underneath here and you're going to screw from underneath. That's why you got to put it on before you attach it to the machine. And then last but not least, you're going to put this piece on. There's screws on each side and then these screws are on top of here. So you're going to, or on the inside. So you're going to screw this together. Once this whole thread rack is screwed together, then you can put it on top of your machine. Again, take this rubber piece off screw it into the machine, there will be four screws. There will be two in the middle, and then one in the back, and one in the front. And you're gonna screw those all in and attach it to the machine. And then after that, you can put the rubber piece back on, and then you have your thread rack, and it's all set up and ready to go. Now we're gonna put the monitor together, and I'm trying to get a good angle so that you can see what I'm talking about. So this and this are two separate pieces when you get it in. Again, we put these two pieces together before we attached it to the machine, so that way it's just one piece. And all you do is, you're gonna think that you didn't get the screws, but you did because they're already attached to the actual machine. This piece right here is already on the machine. You don't have to put it together, it comes like that. And what they've done is already put the screws in the, in the piece on the machine and you just have to unscrew it, put this on and then screw it back in. So the screws are already attached to the machine. You just have to unscrew them from the machine and then re-screw them in. So you've got the screws. They just don't come separate in a bag. They're just already on your machine. So now what you're gonna do is slide this these two pieces right here, this is going to slide in and that's where you're going to attach 
from each side there's screws and it's actually with an allen wrench so you have to unscrew them with the, the tools that come with the machine there will be three different sizes of allen wrenches and you can use them to unscrew these put this on and tighten it back up this piece right here is actually for your stylus that comes with your machine you just slide it in here and it just pops right in I leave mine out because I like to use it so I just put it over here on the side of my machine now here's the important part to get um, the machine to start up and running it comes with these three cords they're already zip tied together you want to leave them like that this black one, the op box, it's the black cord. The black cord gets plugged into the top of the side panel of your monitor. This one that's hanging out, it's green. Just leave it. You leave it like that. There is another small black cord, the smaller solid black cord, gets tied up into the very first plug on the panel. The very first plug on the panel, again, the small black solid cord. The farthest plug to the, to the left of you, that's what it gets plugged into. Now your solid white cord goes up underneath the machine and that is what gets plugged into the MIC and that is marked with a red arrow. It's underneath your machine. There will be a red arrow marking that, and that is where you put that cord. And there will also be this black cord right here, separate, and that's gonna come up through this silver arm, I guess you would call it, and then that is going to be plugged into what is already attached to the monitor. Those two just get plugged in together. It's hard to see, but you will be able to see um, before you plug the machine onto the arm or tighten it onto the arm, you plug this in together and then I just tucked it up under here so it was out of my way. After you do all that, you are ready to run your machine. So after all these cords are plugged in, turn on the power switch on your machine and it should be up and running. I'm gonna to go to the back of the machine and show you what it will look like. Okay, so here is the back of the machine. The machine will come with one power cord and you literally just plug it into the back. There will be a spot for it, just like any other machine that you've ever used. And then I just have mine hooked to an extension cord, which I share it with the other SWF, and that's it. And then here is the power button so you're just going to power it on. It's going to check for some things on the machine, make a couple noises, check for installation. And this is what it looks like when it's starting up. So it's checking installation files. It's gonna do the check completed. Have you wait for a second and then it's going to be all set up and ready to go. So again, this machine took me about 45 minutes from start to finish to set the whole thing up. And it was very simple. Um, but if you do have any questions and you can't get something right, or if the machine is not turning on, or anything that you might have questions about, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can always email me at binghambliss at yahoo.com. You can reach out to me on Instagram, bingham underscore bliss. If you're not following me, please follow. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I am going to have more tutorials on this amazing machine. Again, I have two of them, and I love both of them. I haven't used this one yet, but I already know I love it because I love that one so much. Um, the reason why the design is upside down when you first start up your machine is because it comes pre uh, assembled with your hat hoop. So if any of you have ever um, embroidered on hats or caps and the, ma the machine automatically puts it upside down, which is a huge plus because you don't have to remember to change the uh, way the m design is going. So again, I hope that you guys enjoyed this short tutorial on how to put together this 12 needle. It's very simple. 
you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you guys all next time. Mm -hmm.